Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something differently. I'm going to be showing you guys how to play NBA 2K23 as realistic as possible. And hopefully this helps you guys basically running a NBA My Career as realistic as possible. And so you guys can have the most fun and the most freedom. So as we, as we know... Uh, NBA 2K23 My Career. Yes, it's a lot of fun. You guys know that I did start with uh, My Career. And you guys know everything that happened with My Career, the Oklahoma City. But for everyone who wants to know how to play a NBA 2K23 uh, Career Series the way I do it and the way I keep it realistic, stick around. I hope you enjoy the video. And let's get into it. So as we know, NBA 2K My Career is a grind. It's a grind that I enjoy. I'm sure you guys enjoy the grind as well. But as time goes on, I feel like the grind can really uh, outweigh you, do you down. Uh, you, you guys have to spend a lot of money for VC. Um, you don't get updated rosters. You can't simulate games at the start of your my careers. So what I do normally when I get maybe two seasons into my career, uh, just with the way they have my career at the moment... It basically makes it non-fun. I mean, yes, we all enjoy playing my career and leveling up our player, but do we really enjoy spending money on VC? Do you guys enjoy spending your hard-earned money to level up your player? Now, I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how I play NBA 2K23. Uh, I, and it basically stays around and be fun. I mean, I play all year round. Um, every time I make the move to my league, and, and the way that I'm going to show you guys, it honestly makes the game stay fresh. You guys get updated rosters. You don't have to spend money on VC. And the game honestly has so much freedom. Don't get me wrong. The city is great. I enjoy the city. Uh, it's really interactive. And I mean, I had a lot of fun with it as I played NBA 2K uh, when I first started. But... My career has so many limitations on you guys. You have to complete quests. If you guys want to start a new player, um, you've got to complete a certain amount of games to be traded. You actually have to play in those games to be traded. I mean, the, you actually can't even foul out in those games. As years go on, the rosters, what happens to the rosters? The rosters completely get fizzled. Uh, it loses its realism. Um, it's really hard to stay connected in a my career when it's so limited. And I mean, I hope in NBA 2K24, they add the ability to bring in uh, updated rosters, jerseys, and it gives you the actual, uh, the ability to choose if you want to play with the updated roster or play with the roster that you have. Now, like I said, I love my career, but the way I'm going to show you uh, will make it more realistic. You guys can play with personalized sliders and all that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into the process that I do to make NBA 2K still playable all year round. You can create as many players as you want. You can have your own custom leagues. You can play uh, custom jerseys, anything you guys want to do. All right, so let's do it. Let's run through the steps. The first thing you want to do, you want to come across here. You want to click on features. You want to come across to create a player. So let's go NBA. Let's add a new player. So what you want to do is you want to come in. You want to create your personalized player. So first off, come in. Name him what he wants. We've got Wally Meeks here, the closer. Uh, we can customize him however we want. We can add tattoos to him. We want to have our appearance. Let's change our appearance. Let's have him with some dreads. But the thing is as well, you can add your gear. You don't have to go and pay for for the gear in, in, in games and, and all, all that all that stuff that you just... I mean, you don't really want to spend your hard-earned money on. This is one of the benefits of moving across to uh, my league and, and, and all that good stuff. You can come across and do your attributes. Now, what I normally do is to make it realistic, I put progression on. So maybe I'll give my guy a little bit of a bump. So if my NBA, my player, is a 92, I'll try and get him to like a 92. I'll try and do all that good stuff. Come through every single... Uh, jump shot, every single signature move is unlocked when you actually create a player. So you can choose anything. The customization is crazy. Um, you can come across here, can add anything you want, animation blending, anything you need. Uh, free throws, dunk package. Uh, Sue Bird, when I'm Sue Bird, my bad. Uh, we'll come across here, we can do anything. So live package, we can do anything. You got these dunks, you can do anything. Uh, but like I said, the customization is crazy. The things you can do, the things you can add, um, really adds to you guys able to customize. All right, so we have Wally Meeks. Let's save Wally Meeks and let's keep Wally Meeks and let's move him across to a roster. I'll show you guys how we set that up. Okay, so step two, you wanna come across to My NBA Eras. You wanna click on My NBA. Now having My NBA allows you 
to pick from the Magic vs. Bird era. You can go to the Jordan era. So, hey, maybe if you want to do a my career in the Jordan era. Hey, you can even do in the Kobe era. What we're going to do is we are going to go in the modern era. So, this is what I do with CJ Green. I come across to the modern era. I'm going to select that. Uh, we are going to go and create a, a season. So, whatever team you want your player to join... Be that team. Click on that team. Become that team. Um, you can change all the settings as you go, but we're going to advance all these. These are all good. Um, we're going to put Wally Meeks on the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors. All right, so you select the Golden State Warriors. This also allows you to bring in the rookies. Uh, you can auto-generate rookies, or you can download a rookie class, so it keeps it more realistic. We come across. We have it here. The next step... What you want to do is, is you want to come down here to options. You want to go down to create a player. You want to click on create a player. You want to go to Wally Meeks. You want to go to Wally Meeks. What you're going to do is you're going to edit player. This is important because sometimes if you create your player a 90, it's tough to get him on a team you want. You're going to want to export his player DNA. So let's do that. that you want to come out. You can add him to a draft class if you want. If you want him on a draft class and want to put him in, you actually can do the same feature. If you want him in the free agency pool to see what team picks him up, you can do that as well. So what I do next is I come to front office. You want to go to roster. This is the easiest way to do it. You want to go down to the probably the, the lowest rated player on, on the roster. Hey, Anthony Lamb, man. I'm a, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. Anthony Lamb, you want to go into edit player. Now, what you want to do is you want to go import player DNA. You want to click on the player that you are bringing in. So you can say load player NBA, like load the player that you're actually bringing in. You want to go across to my files. Go across to my files. This is the most realistic way to play NBA 2K, I believe. It's the most way I, I stay, like I said, um, into it. I want to go all the way down here. I want to find my player DNA and it's Meeks. So Meeks import appearance and attributes. So there he is. This is how easy it is. You want to come across and press keep changes and return. So now you can be the GM. You can also control one player. Now, before we do that, we have to go to coach game plan. You want to click on this. Hey, Wiggins, you've been good for us, but we're putting Wally Meeks in the starting lineup. Swap players and move minutes. Okay. Now this is probably the most important step. You want to come down to options. You want to click here. You want to go down to position. Now, this is important. Click on position. And you'll see here you've got player lock and you've also got position lock. What I do is I come across and I'll find my created player. And this is how you can control one player on your uh, on your controller. So, there he is, Wally Meeks. We are clicking him. He is our controlled player. Now, I'm going to show you guys the sliders that I play on to make it m the most realistic. So, the next step, you want to come to tuning sliders. You want to go to CPU and user. You want to press load settings. Now, these are my favorite settings. These are the sliders that I use. A lot of people have been asking for this. I come all the way down here to beyond Hall of Fame Pop Boy. These are the best sliders that I've found. If you guys have better sliders, let me know. But these are some of the best sliders that I've found and the, the, the sliders that I've had probably the most success with to having it uh, realistic. Your shooting percentages is good. Your teammates will hit shots as well. NBA My Career, we, everything, we all know what happens with our teammates. They cannot shoot the ball. LeBron James averages like three points. Your players will score the ball. Click on Beyond Hall of Fame Pop Boy. And that is it. We're going to jump into a game. I'll finish this video up. And I'll show you guys just how it works. Hey, so that is it. That is how you create a my career player on my league and play in a updated roster. Control one player. We're controlling Meeks right now. Uh, for me, this is how, where I have the most fun. Like I said, um, you don't have to pay for upgrades. You can put progression on, so you can come across there. That's also in the settings. You want to play around with that. Um, your player will progress. You can start as a rookie. You can be drafted. Uh, everything that you guys want to know that I've seen in the comments is how I play my My Career series on my league. Like I said, my career is a serious grind. Um, if you're not playing online and you're just playing for the fun of it, and I mean, uh, some people just want to come in and just play uh, their own way. So you can also um, tell your teammates to shoot the ball on this on this setting. So if you come across here, press square. Steph will just shoot. Have a look at Steph Curry launch that three. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, this, this, this special episode and this video helped. If it did help, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what else you guys want to know about my series, how I get progression and all that. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay blessed and uh, have fun with your new My Career Creative Plays. I'll see you in the next one.